How would you describe your foundational belief system when it comes to hitting? Um, I think foundationally, it was a, it's built around getting to the ball like in an efficient way once the swing happens. But my belief system usually is built around what happens before the swing swings. And if you do those pieces right, you'd be amazed at how some of the stuff in the middle, you know, takes care of itself. I think there's a huge disconnect because we spend so much time in what happens, you know, through the stretch and swing phase that we miss the timing elements, the the rhythm, the flow, the actions or the things that lead to those things being game repeatable. Mm-hmm. So we have like swings that look better in the cage, but me, I'm like this guy. Like if it doesn't do better in a game, like I'm not a buyer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah. all, I don't care how good it looks. Like I don't care. I would take ugly in a game that produces because ch- chances are there's probably going to be a repeatable timing mechanism. There's like some foundational things that are pretty good and it, it works when the game starts. Cause like, really, this is what this stuff is all about. Mm-hmm. Do you think that happens because it's difficult to articulate rhythm to the unrhythmic or or um, an athlete that may not have as much body awareness? Yes and no. Okay. I think, I think yes, because if they don't move naturally, then sometimes you have to get them to move how they are. Like, I, like don't try to change who their DNA is. Like, if you're a rhythmic kid, moving is going to be part of how you feel time. Some people aren't movers, aren't rhythmic movers. And the way they go about their day, the way they interact with you in the cage, how they operate will usually tell you that. Then you have to find out what rhythm is for them. It may look static and boring to everyone else, but to mm-hmm. them, they probably feel pretty rhythmic. Yeah. You no, know? And it's just geared around like coaching to what their DNA is, like how they're going to move like if no one told them to move. You know, we'll usually start leading you to kind of where they need to be. 